Welcome back to Astrox guys and this video will be about my plan for making an operating system for the PicoCalc. If you don't know, the PicoCalc is an amazing device. It may look like a calculator but really deep down it's a powerful computer. Powerful may sound like an overshot but even because of the specs but it's way more capable than you think. So let me just start off with some things about my operating system like the name around when I think it'll release don't be like stuck on that day but like around when I think it'll release etc. So the name will be called Astralixi Operating System or OS and Astralixi will be very efficient in my idea so that you it can even run a PicoCalc but do things that normal computers can do. I'm estimating it'll release around August this year yeah around august the first version will release in around august august to september i'll say and well the pico cal comes with pico might built on it but i i don't think pico might that capable it can't have a search browser like just not basic search browser notepad app it doesn't have a good command line it doesn't have it, it's lacking a lot of things also, if you haven't already, please subscribe, as only 1.2% of my viewers are subscribed. The PicoCalc is an amazing device because you can add a lot of things from the GPIO pins. When people get my operating system, I'm planning on them having to have a folder on the SD card called software. So that my operating system will be able to collect, like, not collect, access files from that software folder and it will use them as apps i feel like that's an amazing idea that many other operating systems haven't implemented for this new device i will be making the operating system in the coding language c not c sharp not c plus plus just c c is very very capable i don't understand why many people don't use it anymore it's really useful and I can convert that C into a .ufd file, which can be used as a firmware for the PicoCalc, which is also known as the operating system for the PicoCalc. I'll probably be coding the whole operating system on my PicoCalc itself, and I can't wait to start. My roadmap for this whole thing is that over the next month, I'll be making all the basic things, planning out everything, and all of that, like having a command line to start working. And then after that, I can start making all the apps integrate with that. And I can also ask people like all of you, my viewers, if you have C program experience, feel free to maybe try code a app for the PicoCalc in C. The screen resolution is 320 by 320. Uh, the base model has 264 kilobytes of RAM. But it'll be more like 164 after the operating system starts running. And there's a lot of specifications that you can find online if you need them. But I'm not saying to start making your apps right now. I'm only saying if you want to help, start doing that later if you want. This operating system will be completely free. Free of charge to you. I might eventually add like a donation thing. But you won't have to pay. It's not mandatory. And I hope if this operating system when it releases gets enough popular... Then maybe Clockwork Pi, the makers of PicoCalc, will make it pre-flashed onto the PicoCalc itself. So that everyone can start using it and it can be easier for all. Currently the visuals you see is my PicoCalc. And it's running PicoMite right now. That's not my operating system. Okay, so don't blame me about that later. Sorry for bad camera quality. As I forgot where my stand was and I have to, I have to hold the camera with my hand. Clockwork Pi isn't a sponsor of this video or anything, but I do highly recommend buying the PicoCalc, as it's very capable of what it does. In this visuals, uh, it was really hard to type with one hand actually, but if you're holding it in your hands, really easy to type on, feels like a computer, and absolutely am amazing. Back to my operating system. A basic operating, like basic operating systems have lots of things. It first connects to the hardware, the keyboard, all of that. And then it does all the backend maths and like the code does all that. Then it starts displaying something which the end user can access. Operating systems have to go through a lot of processes. 
And to make that process efficient, there's a lot yet to go through. There's a data type called a double, and there's a data type called a float. They both hold decimal point numbers, but a double takes double the amount of storage compared to a float, as it holds double the amount of decimal places. But you rather use a float, even if it doesn't have as much of precision, uh, if you want an efficient and low storage operating system. And if you want lots of apps to run efficiently, you have to kind of silent the operating system in the background and just have the app running, which makes the app have more RAM to work on. When I release my operating system, the recommended um, like core to use will be the Pico 2W, which is the second version with the Raspberry Pi Pico with Wi-Fi capabilities. I plan on adding Wi-Fi capabilities to my operating system in a later on update, as then we could have a basic search bra- like search line, something like Bing integrated in it, with something more efficient, and it would make it really easy to use as your everyday computer. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, share, and enjoy!